Let's try that again, because on June 5th, the Prime Minister said that no one else in his office knew about Nigel Wright's $90,000 payment to Mike Duffy. In October 24th, the Prime Minister told the House that, quote, very few people in his office knew about the check. But there's more, because on November 5th, just two weeks ago, the Prime Minister said, Mr. Wright has acknowledged that these were his actions, that he took them himself. So which of these three statements by the Prime Minister is the correct one? Of course, Mr. Speaker, uh, as I've said on a number of occasions in the House, when, uh, when Senator Duffy approached the Prime Minister to try and justify his, uh, his inappropriate expenses, the Prime Minister told Senator Duffy that he needed to repay those expenses. Uh, uh, moreover, Senator Duffy went on TV and uh, told Canadians and all of us that he had actually taken a mortgage out on his home and repaid those expenses. We know that not to be true, Mr. Speaker. We also know that it was Nigel Wright who repaid those expenses. We know that if uh, the Prime Minister had known about this scheme, he wouldn't have no way approved of such a plan, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Wright is uh, prepared to accept the consequences of, uh, of those actions, and uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we are assisting uh, any way that we can. Right. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Mayor of Toronto has admitted to some very troubling crimes and misdemeanors, but we haven't forgotten the fact that the police are actually investigating the Prime Minister's office here in Ottawa. But let's turn to yet another criminal investigation of the Conservatives. It turns out that Michael Sona was in Aruba at the same time Conservative officials claimed that he was bragging about voter suppression in Guelph. So does the Justice Minister still believe that Michael Sona is the sole culprit behind this voter fraud, as he said on February 26, 2012? Very good. Mr. Speaker, uh, as we've said, we continue to assist with uh, the investigation on this. We've uh, uh, working closely uh, with Elections Canada and provide any assistance that we can. But at the same time, Mr. Speaker, uh, at the same time, uh, uh, those who are found responsible, we, we believe that those who are found responsible should be held and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, Mr. Speaker. Uh, that's what we believe on this side of the House, and we're going to continue to assist uh, Elections Canada in this. Thank you. The Honourable